during the eclipse next week, many Americans will get a rare daytime glimpse of what space is really like. Hot blazing star in the center, black vacuum surrounding it. All right, but there are places in space where you can actually breathe the air and live comfortably, believe it or not. Dave Malkoff joins us now with a preview of a Weather Channel special event coming yeah, up. Yeah, it sounds Where crazy. are those places, Dave? They're, they are inside <laughs> spacesuits <laughs> and inside go. spaceships. And NASA are building their new spacesuits and spaceships right now. The next stop could put an astronaut walking on Mars, breathing Earth-like air. All In the history of spaceflight, only 24 humans have ever been beyond what's called low Earth orbit, 1,200 miles up. But before astronauts can even think of a trip back to the moon or Mars, they'll have to think about packing a chunk of the home planet with them. They need to bring Earth's weather along. You're in charge of creating the weather here. Essentially, yes. yes. We met engineer Jason Dake inside the model of the ISS in which astronauts train before they go up. You see, every space station, every spaceship, every space suit for that matter, is essentially a bubble of the Earth's weather. The atmosphere on Earth provides pressure, carbon scrubbing, a radiation shield, water, and the temperatures humans need to survive. In space, none of that exists naturally. So the things we tend to take for granted simply on Earth, we have to create all of those in place for the astronauts to have that safe, habitable environment. It's a very comfortable uh, 72 degrees average room temperature. Astronauts like Tracy Caldwell Dyson tell us today's spacesuits are built with older technology. It's a rather cumbersome suit and it's large. Oh, that's right above my nose. Oh, yeah, wow. it's, it's a tight fit. Wow. There you go. I thought you'd have some room in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. I was able to experience what it's like to wear NASA's current unit at a spacesuit factory called ILC Dover. And you can definitely feel the lower pressure in here. Oh, I felt it. I felt a pressure change. You feel that? like a plane coming right, down exactly. just by putting on the glove. Here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, scientists are already starting to build prototypes for Mars suits. They'll be easier to put on with a more Earth-like air pressure inside. Whereas with this design, our rear entry suits, it's very novel in that you can open up this rear hatch, you would slide your feet in, and then slide all the way into the spacesuit to make it very easy to take on and off. NASA, along with private companies like SpaceX and Boeing, are planning to send astronauts into space in American spaceships starting as early as next year. Getting beyond low Earth orbit is the next step. We're all striving to make space accessible to more than just NASA and its astronauts. So I believe more people will see this. That fraction that gets to see it is gonna grow. Yet no matter where future astronauts go or who they are, they'll have to bring a chunk of home along for the ride. Yes, yeah, Saturday at 9 p.m., an exciting event right here on the Weather Channel, Surviving Outer Space. We will take you inside that simulator you saw there, mm -hmm. inside the spacesuit. And Tracy Caldwell Dyson, the astronaut that you saw at the end, has a very emotional story to tell, and we'll have that tomorrow morning right here. Looking forward to it. I, I mean, I was totally sucked into that. It's, you know? it's really Kind of like how you were sucked into that suit. I don't suit. think there's a person <laughs> in this room right now that's not envious of you putting that suit on. That was awesome. And I didn't even go to space camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Malkoff, we appreciate that. Jen, what's coming up? I know, I still have chills, too, from watching that. Now, it's AMHQ Q Studio like you've never seen it before. We're going to break out the solar system to show you the total solar eclipse as only the Weather Channel can. This program brought to you by the all-new 2017 Jeep Compass. 